Welcome back to Late Night Top Producer Lessons. Sometimes I'm in the mood for love. You know what else I love? Organizing my contacts. Let's take a look. Let's begin by assigning a contact type or group to a single contact. I hover over contacts and select contact summary. I choose the contact I want to add a contact type to and then click on the contact details tab. Clicking select from slash modify list shows me a list of all of the available contact types in the system. I'm going to add this contact to the buyer group and click save contact details. To see all of the contacts that have been added to the buyer's group, I hover over contacts and select search for contacts. The drop-down list in the contact types section shows me all of the contact types that have at least one contact assigned to them. Clicking search reveals that there is currently only one contact we just added to the buyer's group. But what if I wanted to add multiple contacts to the buyer's group in one fell swoop? I'm going to perform a blank search to bring up a list of all of the contacts in my top producer and then select the contacts I would like to add to the buyer's group. Next I'll click the Mass Update link at the bottom of the page and then use the Add drop-down menu in the Contact Types section to select the buyer group again. I also have the opportunity to remove the previously selected contacts from one of the active contact types in the system. If we perform another search for contacts in the buyer group, we now see a total of four contacts. The other way to organize contacts is by contact status. Contact status is found in the upper right hand corner of a contact record. The contact status allows you to separate your contacts based on your professional relationship with them. The different contact statuses are displayed on the home page under the sales pipeline. Like contact types, contact statuses can be searched using the advanced search function. This advanced search displays which contact statuses are being used in the system, and if I select one, we can find out how many contacts share that status. Again, like contact types, contact statuses can be assigned in bulk using the Mass Update system. And now you know what I love about organizing my contacts. Join me again next time and I'll show you something completely different. Good night!